Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back uh, to another video. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how to create basic uh, 3D assets from you know images that you find online. Uh, the, the process basically you take an image and then you project the UVs uh, back onto that image and you get results like this. For example, this little parking meter or this little trash can in here or the ashtray. Uh, the car was actual model, so that wasn't projected. Uh, the building, uh, same thing. Uh, this building, uh, this dumpster, KFC box, and juice box and soda on the ground, and also these lights. And as you can see, I have all the images in here. So this was the ashtray, and I have this is the building. I basically cut it out, and this is the result that you get. Uh, so let me just show you how it's done, and you can get an idea. And the image that I have for today is uh, uh, this little dumpster here. And um, if you want to make a less work for yourself, you can bring this image into Photoshop and uh, give it the white background. Uh, but if you're so lazy, uh, no problem. I have my 3D cursor placed in here. Uh, shift right click. And I'm going to do Shift A, uh, bring in a cube. And let's just scale it down like this. Bring it up. And let's just switch to material mode uh, so my computer is not uh, crashing as much. Uh, let's jump in. And let me just eye this out. So this goes up maybe this much. And then an extrude, auto extrude, ES, extrude out one more time. And then I'm going to extrude again, GZ, to give this little lip in here. And then I'm going to do E. Extrude. Actually, that's too much. So let me do E one more time, and then extrude, and then I. Oops. I. And extrude inside. Uh, so this is what we have so far. Now let's make these little uh, three holes or four holes around the dumpster or uh, the trash can. So I'm going to select all these. Uh, Shift H, and I'm going to do. Uh, one cut about here, and then one cut, oops, uh, one cut about here, and same thing for this side, like this. It doesn't have to be uh, super perfect. In my case, uh, the camera is going to be on this side, uh, so I'm not going to see any detail on this side, but uh, the more time you spend here, uh, the better it's going to look. If you're lazy, then you know don't worry about it too much. Just get your cuts in there and move on with your day. So now let's just take these faces. This is our holes. Uh, click X, delete the faces, Alt H. And this is our basic uh, little dumpster, or uh, I keep saying dumpster, it's a trash can. It's because I, I guess I have this dumpster next to me. Uh, anyway, uh, so the next step is um, let's create a new material. Uh, Control A, image. Uh, let's find the image of the trash can and plug it into base color. Uh, so this is what we have so far. Uh, now to make our lives a little bit easier, uh, let's project the detail on onto this uh, image here. Uh, so in, in your viewport, try to match the same perspective. Uh, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. So as you can see, uh, we can see the, the little bit of top here. And it's about in this kind of angle here. More to the front, less to the back. Maybe something like this. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, jump in, uh, select it all with A. Uh, oops, click on the wrong button, click U. And do project on view. And now as you can see, this is my UV editor. So let me just scale this up and try to match it up uh, with our reference image here. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, um, but this will give you a nice head start. So now uh, this is what we have so far. Uh, not too bad, but obviously we have some um, uh, mistakes in here. Uh, so the front looks, uh, yeah, actually looks mess messed up as well. So we're going to take this plane here. Uh, we're going to start with this, and I'm going to take uh, this one as well and do Shift H. So now it's going to hide everything except these uh, two planes here. And now uh, go back to Vertex Select and just try to match uh, the reference image as much as possible. So this is good. 
this is good and this top point needs to go up to about here that looks good that looks good and just like that we fixed actually right here is a little bit uh, messed up so let's just jump back in this is okay and that looks uh, much better yep that looks good so now uh, we fixed that issue and now for the holes same thing jump in alt h to bring everything back and now let's take uh, this here and do um, shift h and same thing jump into your vertex select and match up your reference so this goes in here that looks good now we have to bring this down uh, don't worry about stretching too much like I said uh, most of the time uh, the camera is not going to be catching all of this crazy uh, detail uh, that you're modeling so let's bring this up and this one actually has to go down maybe something like this and maybe move this over so none of the white is catching and let's do alt h and as you can see from far away everything looks good and this is uh, the basic workflow of how you fix all of these little problems let's try control plus there we go uh, nice and easy and what's going on here yeah, it's catching some of the white so shift h scale it down and just like that uh, we got it fixed nice and easy let's see how it looks uh, pretty good and uh, nobody really nobody really gonna see anything anyway and uh, the last step uh, you can add you know a little detail in here uh, by adding some cuts and um, you know getting creative uh, same thing you can add some thickness using um, some modifiers and uh, make a smooth shade so let's just do that real quick uh, first let me actually move this out like this and now let's add some uh, first let's do control a and uh, apply all transformations and then let's add uh, solidify and as you can see uh, we're getting a uh, thickness uh, that's nice and now let's do uh, bevel uh, let me just switch it back to angle and just give it a little bit of beveling like this and let me just increase the um, segments that looks nice and now oops smooth shade and just like that if I jump into render mode just like that uh, we have a nice little trash can you can't really see any any mistakes and obviously I just did it quick for you guys but for all the other assets that I created I actually spent some time and uh, make sure the projection was correct uh, but as you can see you can get a nice result in a couple of minutes anyway guys uh, i'm not gonna waste your time thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day guys goodbye